four, three, two, one. And our courtside countdown. We start off in Washington with a long-range bullet. Final seconds of the half. Gugliotta forces up a three. Number nine, the Surgeon Spurs are sure making it look easy. El Negro in the traffic. How did he see Antoine Carr in there? Wow. Well, what a pass by Del Negro as he gets up in the air. Goes behind the back. Ooh, we got a crazy one for number eight, where Stacy Ogman lives up to his nickname. Oh, I don't believe he made that. Plastic Man found a way to get it all. Woo, Gerald Wilkins has some head spinning in Cleveland. Wilkins ahead of the pack. Another three. Number six, MJ places his own trail in Portland. Oh, good move. Jordan. Oh, 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 the fake was everywhere. And then the shot was just like uh, icing on the cake. And another way to take it to the hoop. Check out LA's Dwayne Cooper. Heads around Stockton underneath, throws it up backhand, and again. Oh, <laughs> what a great shot. He had it in both hands and threw it up on the backboard and let it fall in. For number four, check out this ball hawk. Henson steals the ball, keeps the dribble oh, alive. Oh, Wilkins up and in. Good hustle play by Steve Henson, but the pass, the no-look pass over the back. <laughs> How about this Manning no-look flip to a fellow clip? Oh, Manning, what a pass to Harper. Oh, that's something else. And number two, it's MJ again. This time, it's Bullseye. From mid-court, Jordan, a 50-footer debate. Michael Jordan. He actually shot that ball just across the court. And this week's number one play also comes from long range. Compliments of Danny Ainge. If Ainge makes this one. He did. I don't believe it. Danny Ainge makes the three. I didn't even finish the three. Oh, man. Dogs in the East, the New York Knicks. Beginning their week in Philly, they rode Ewing's season-high 40 points to a big overtime victory. That's the killer. Back home, the Dream Teamer received his Olympic ring and then dominated Akeem the Dream in a 30-point blowout. Ewing continues the hot shooting, a beautiful move. Patrick moved on to Chicago, and with Michael Jordan serving a one-game suspension, it was a gloomy prospect for Phil Jackson as he watched the biggest bully in town and his Knicks take over the top spot in the Eastern Conference. Ewing oh, running in, gets the lob and the dunk. That makes it 100 to 92, and that hurt. Winners of seven in a row, Ewing's Knicks moved on to Orlando to take on the Magic. Rebound, Oklahoma pass for Ewing. But New York would go to Patrick one too many times as Shaquille O'Neal's dramatic block would send the game into overtime. And when Ewing fouled out, the Knicks would be stopped in the third extra period. Rebound. Out west, the Spurs are still clicking as they are 22 and 3 under John Lucas. Their first victim of the week, the Clippers. San Antonio played their typical in-your-face style of basketball as they registered a season-high 12 blocks. Carr got up and rejected Williams. And another win. Five in a row. Next up was Washington, and point guard Avery Johnson would pick them apart. A.J. in deep, and the dish to the Admiral. Besides his precision-like playmaking, Avery just couldn't miss. A.J., a new career-high 23 points. Let the little man do it. The Spurs were at their best against Boston, as they seemed to be everywhere. Mikhail struck point blank Sean Elliott, a foot race with McDaniel. Behind him is Reed. Seven in a row as they bid Boston adieu. It's sure tough gaining ground on the division-leading Spurs, but under the watchful eye of first-year coach Dan Issel, the Nuggets have made steady strides. Take their game this week against Seattle, for example, where they came up with the huge road win. Jackson shadowed by Johnson. Goes for three. Squish. And that clears the Coliseum. Chris Jackson would again take center stage back home against Philly. Jackson swoops to the hoop. And gets his first to the night, Chris Jackson. But Chris was only starting up as he ended up scorching the Sixers for 31 points. Chris Jackson on fire. Oh, man. The Nuggets were off and running against the Bullets as they staged a 48-minute jam session. Oh, registering their 10th straight win at McNichols Arena in convincing fashion. A game just on the horizon. Here's a sneak preview of this year's participants. 
first the starters led by the son sir charles barkley barkley that's big time So in the big show are the reserve all-stars headed by Golden State's Tim Hardaway. Tim Hardaway, oh my. Fights, 4-3. Portland's Terry Porter replaces the Kings injured Mitch Richmond for his second all-star appearance. show this year will be the Suns Paul Westfall and the Knicks Pat Riley. This year's event will try to equal the excitement generated by the magical presence of Irvin Johnson at last year's game. Whatever I've been through, it's just calm because now I'm playing ball. It's, it's what I'm all about, you know, and you just get out there and you just do it. It's just play. I would cherish this for the rest of my life. Whatever happens this, this day, this moment, I would cherish it. We're going to have two I spokesmen on this team, okay? I see that. And you got the it's two to one right off the bat. That's all right. I can one, handle right? it. I'm older. I can handle it. You can hold <laughs> it. One of the greatest players of all time. I enjoyed every hug and every high five that I received. And, and those are things that you take with you forever. Squeeze me too tight now. <laughs> Magic Johnson. Yeah! And Dennis told me, I'm going to guard you tough and you're not going to score on me, and I couldn't wait to post him up. Just being knocked around was my favorite. Just being back in the action. Six, five, three-pointer. Oh, my! I'm in a dream right now, and uh, I don't ever want to wake up, because for one day, I got the NBA back in me for one day, and it was great. Maybe you'll see me back, maybe you won't, but I'll remember the, all these good times this afternoon. I'd like to thank you for sharing this with me. Thank you. This week, the 76's Hersey Hawkins is holding court. When you score over 36 points a game in college, folks tend to take notice. And when you leave school as the fourth all-time scorer in NCAA history, people remember your name. There is Hershey Hawkins. 
Haskins. He's 6'3", 200 pounds. National Player of the Year honors from several prestigious groups like Associated Press, UPI, Sporting News, Consensus All-American, a great player. But to the lucky few who experience such adoration, bidding farewell to the friendly confines of college can be difficult. For Hersey, a storybook college career and the euphoria of being drafted in the first round simply meant greater expectations. You know, I was nervous, I think, because when you score a lot in college, I think people have the expectations that you're going to do that when you come into the NBA. And, you know, that's what I wanted to get across to people, that, hey, I'm going to play well, I'm going to play hard, I'm going to score some points, but, you know, don't expect me to do the same things I did at Bradley in the NBA. But cautious disclaimers soon proved to be both unnecessary and misleading. There's Hersey. Oh, Look at that. Oh. Hersey is acrobatic tonight. What a shot. As a first-team all-rookie selection, 20-point scorer, and one of the deadliest three-point shooters in the league, Hawkins appeared to have nothing left to prove. Until this summer, with the departure of superstar Charles Barkley, Hawkins was thrust into the limelight and readily accepted the role of team leader. You know, most guys in NBA were, were stars in college, so they welcomed the opportunity for their teammates to look for them, get them the ball, and, you know, now that I'm in that role, uh, I'm going to take advantage of it and make the most of it. Going on, As the Sixers captain and new go-to guy, Hawkins is commanding respect and drawing rave reviews. Percy Hawkins got it and won. Big, big hoop by Hawkins. Uh, I, I tell you the truth, I couldn't be more pleased with his play and just his attitude and everything uh, that he does concerning the team. He's going to continue to get better, in my opinion. Uh, and I think the thing that impresses me probably most about him right now is his whole game. He's a very, very good basketball player on top of being a good score. And as Philadelphia seeks to master the motion offense and return to the playoffs, Percy Hawkins promises to lead the charge. Plays of the week. Five, four, three, two, one. In our courtside countdown. We blast off in Houston, where Rocket Kenny Smith never runs out of fuel. Goes behind the back, is fouled, it goes, and a three-point opportunity coming up. At number nine, Doug West propels himself over the paces. Oh, 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 oh. I can see him slide through there. Look at him, climb the ladder. <laughs> Get it, Dougie Fresh. It's the final moments in Miami, and time for some tasty teamwork. Larry Johnson smash. It goes to Kendall Gill. For number seven, the Bullets' Michael Adams dazzles him in Dallas. Adams behind him, back to Buck Johnson. Well, that brought some ooze and ahs from the crowd. This little fella is not afraid to take it into the pack. Oh. We're playing five-card draw, and we come up with a royal flush. Her rejected Anderson, a royal kill. Oh, God, royal. O'Neal from Dick, steps through. Oh, what a play. In Chicago, Craig Elo gores the Bulls. Elo from center court. Oh, he got it. It's good. It's good. For number three, don't blink, because you might miss Action Jackson. Which is in the air. Chris Jackson putting on a show. It's Timber for Houston, compliments of Minnesota's Bob McCann. Look at that! Bob McCann! Oh, oh my goodness! That is not easy, folks. Not without the foul. And for our number one play of the week, Shaq takes it to the rack. Transition. Oh! Oh, what a dunk! Oh hey, look my. at him look back at morning. Oh, he came flying out of nowhere. <laughs> he sort of said, Bob, could you stop that big fella? I don't know if there's a man alive that could have stopped that slam. Of a fun-filled weekend.